On this episode, I'm gonna show you how we built this amazing new mudroom locker system. I am so excited to share it with you. But first, we need to take a little trip to Ikea. Most of what I need is upstairs, so we're gonna head up. So my ceilings are really tall. I think they're like 110 inches tall or 111. So I'm looking at my options. This is a, a Besta um, shelf. Um, I'm also gonna go look at the packs. So Besta packs, see, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I did consider doing like a kitchen pantry type thing, but the cost is at least double. And I don't know that I need all of these drawers for what I'm gonna be using it for. So I think I'm gonna save some money and go more of the shelf route. But it is beautiful, right? Okay, so this is the area that I was looking for. I think this is gonna work really nicely. I did so good. I stuck to my list. I didn't buy anything else and I saved $20 with my Ikea family membership. So you can't beat that. Let's get home. So we are back from Ikea and this is the area that we are going to address. I got a couple of items from Ikea, but after mulling it over, I'm not sure that I'm going to use one of them. I may just use the closet system here, but I am so excited to add this additional storage and get the clutter under control. We've got so many shoes, so much clutter that kind of gets dropped in this entryway and we don't really have a true mudroom area that we can do. So this is right in my front entryway. It's really the only spot that we got and I need the additional storage anywhere I can get it. <laughs> so let's get started by clearing all of this out and then we're gonna start building our PAX closet. Somebody ought to come along and let you down So you could see my side and how it feels to hit the ground How can you say that nothing's different, that we should pick up the pieces Somebody ought to come along and let you down If you still wanted to be loved you should have never let me go Hope somebody will break your heart And leave you Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> I should have measured before we ever got started because I thought it looked a little big. I asked for the 19 inch wide one and I just measured it and it's 30 inches. So that is much bigger than I had planned or anticipated for. At this point, I'm like, I don't know what to do. My door is the right width. I can tell you that right now. My door's not gonna fit this. Now I've got it built. <laughs> not sure what to do here so we might stick with it and just get a new door but i am this is really big i got a late start today anyways i'm gonna sleep on this and figure out what i want to do and we'll go from there oh dear measure before you build it turns out that i didn't need to sleep on it i knew that i needed to make this right tonight um, while I still had a little bit of energy, the sun sets right in my eyes, so here we are. Let's just get this taken care of. Hopefully it's easy peasy. So the return department at Ikea was amazing. They are going to send me a new one and I, they're going to pick up the one I already built. So it's awesome. You should never let me go. 
But if you wanted to be loved, you should have never let me go. So Ikea just came and switched out the closet. I'm not gonna make you watch me rebuild the second one, so I'll have a new closet for you in three, two, one. Standing by yourself, no one to hold. If you still we are in our grubbies because we are about to get all covered in dust. <laughs> but first I wanted to show you what we've done and where we're headed. So this is the plan, generally speaking, and we might deviate from this because originally I had planned on building out a bench here, but honestly the dimensions of the bench that we had already are pretty much spot on for what we're looking for. The only thing I didn't love is that it had shelves, but I went ahead and removed the shelves, creating a nice big space where we can put some large baskets. And I also didn't like that there was a way for dirt to work its way underneath the bench because of the little gap, but I just decided we're gonna trim that out. We're gonna make this work. So the only th thing that I've still got to decide is whether I want to run the shiplap horizontal as per our plan. So you can see the shiplap is horizontal, but on here I had used some leftover shiplap and they were shorter pieces, so I ran them vertically. So. Right now I need to decide whether we want to rip that off and stick with the plan and do all of our shiplap horizontally, which is the same direction that is in our fireplace in the room right around the corner. And I'm trying to create um, consistency. Also, I have the batten board that runs vertically right on this wall right here. So I've got to decide whether I want to leave this shiplap vertical and stick with it and go vertical here or if I want to rip that all off and do it all um, horizontally. So that's a decision that I'm gonna have to make pretty quickly here. But while I'm thinking about it, we're gonna go ahead and build up the shelves, this upper portion shelf for up here, and then we'll start assembling and making this all permanent. And by then, hopefully, I will have decided whether or not to go horizontal or just stick with the vertical. But let's get at it. So here's the cut plan. So we've got our upper box with a brace. The side pieces are gonna be longer because I want it to be finished on the sides. We've got a brace here, so I know that I need two of these side pieces, one of the center piece, two of these tops and bottoms, and then I've got a couple of braces that will go into the studs and like carry the weight of the shelf. So that's our plan, let's get cutting. Okay, so I wanted to show you what I'm doing. I am marking both sides where I want the shelves to be. You can see I've kind of made a mistake, but I know where I'm gonna do it now. And I've marked out three equal boxes. And so we'll know where we need to line it up on the one side and screw in our screws from the other. the basic frame of our box up top and I think it's gonna look amazing. Spur the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy. Okay, so with our box built, we just need to find some studs that we can hang it on in the wall. We need to make sure that they go into studs so it's nice and sturdy. Let's do it. Okay, so here's the situation. That electrical socket, which is awesome, is totally in my way because I need the top of the shelf to line up with the top of that. And so where I have it lined up is in the way. So I think what I'm gonna do is move it up just a touch 
and hope that that is okay. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I start with your name One thing I know is that there should be There is no one who has a heart as pure No, not like yours So I went ahead and removed the side trim piece here so that it could sit up flush next to our cabinet and then I took just a jigsaw and cut off that miter edge so it was nice and snug. Okay, I am hot, sweaty, and we've worked really hard and the only thing saving me right now is this little neck fan. It is so hot outside, it's hot in here, just working around and moving. So I'm gonna link this down below for you because it is a lifesaver. It is keeping me cool even though I'm like super, super hot. But right now what we're gonna do is cut a hole for this outlet so that we can access it through the bench and we're gonna take some measurements and then jigsaw it out of the bench. Here goes to show you that I am just human and I don't always get things right. So I don't know what happened here, but I missed it by a couple of inches. What a bummer. So that's not fun. Um, the good news is that I was planning on covering this up with some shiplap anyway. So, oh dear. Okay, so what we'll do is we will pull this electrical socket outwards and then we'll put the switch plate cover over it it's fixable. We can, we can fix this. <laughs> You'll have to pardon my appearance. I have been out sawing like crazy outside. I am covered in dust. I am sweaty. I have never felt so gross in my life, <laughs> but I wanted to tell you where, what we've done so far and where we're going. We've got a beautiful shelf right here, but it's a little higher. And so I felt like we had a little bit of room to add another little shelf right here. Um, about eight inches down so we it will still be pretty tall you can see I'm five foot two that we've got some room and so if we bring it down eight inches it will put us right about here and still give us plenty of room for hooks so that's what we're gonna build now I've got one longer piece for a side panel to really enclose this locker system that we we're building and then we've got and we're gonna build like another box with three cubby holes. And once we get this second little shelf section installed, then we're gonna go about doing our um, shiplap right here. Let's build this shelf. Okay, so we've got this top part built and we are going to attach the bottom here now and make sure everything's nice and square. Somebody ought to come along and let you down So you could see my side and how it feels to hit the ground How can you say that nothing's different, that we should pick up the pieces so we got all of our shelves in. We pocket hold the side panel into the top of our bench. So this is all nice and sturdy. I also reinforced this um, seam with some screws 
and it just is all nice and tight. Now we're gonna start our shiplap section. I've measured this, it's 58 and a quarter. I wrote that on the wall so it would be easy to remember. So we're gonna cut a whole bunch of them, stack them up, and then we'll trim them out, and then we will go about covering up all of this with some finished trim. So this is making good progress. It's been a lot of work, but it's it's gonna be good. We all make mistakes and no one lives without sin. But why'd you have to break my heart? I wasn't ready to let you go yet. And now you're standing at my door thinking that I'm gonna let you in. But if you wanted to be loved, you should have never let me go Hope somebody will break your heart So you could feel this pain and know What it's like to be left out in the cold Standing by yourself, no one to hold If you still wanted to be loved You should have never let me go Now we're gonna go down on the underneath and change it so that it is horizontal as well. We'll just switch the direction and I'll just do it right over the top of what's already there. It will just be easier and save us a lot of time. So we're gonna start that now. Standing by yourself, no one to hold. If you still want it to be loved. Okay, so you can see that we've got all of our shiplap in top to bottom. And so now we're gonna just trim out all of our rough edges. And these are just mostly straight cuts. There might be a couple of tiny miters, but this is something that you can totally do. I believe that you are so powerful. If I can do it, so can you. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I'm thinking I'm gonna build a header up top and add some trim to it just to bring up the height of it a little bit and finish it out a little bit nicer. Give up everything that I own. Yeah, I'd give it all up now just to be with you somehow. Unexpected love was found. You're the rose in a garden. As you can see, we have a seam here from when we put our two pieces together. We're gonna cover that up with some trim, hide and disguise that. There we go, a few more finishing touches. Okay, the last bit of trim that we're gonna do before we do all the caulking, the putting and all of that, is I actually am going to cheat crown molding by using some door casing upside down and it's gonna give it the nice finished look that we're going for. And so we'll install that now. As we hold each other tight. You're the rose so near the end, you are gonna be tired and you're gonna be so over this project but here's where you've got to stick it through. You do need to do the caulking and the sanding and the putty and all of that because it really is the difference between a professional looking job and one that looks DIY'd. So we are ready to paint. As you can see, I've taped everything off that doesn't need to be painted. And I even put a bag over this light fixture. I didn't cover it super good because it's gonna be re being replaced, but 
didn't want it to get totally ruined and I don't think it will. And then of course you can see that I've taped off our cabinet from Ikea and that's because we color matched the paint to match that so there was no need to paint that. So yeah, let's get painting. I got out my spray gun and spray painted it and I really like the spray gun because it really does give it a nice even finish on the paint finish. original finish I may change that to match the mantle that we've got in my other room and the kitchen cabinet which is like a very dark espresso finish and I may leave it this color who knows I'm gonna live with it a few days and decide so in the end we have jacked up our manicure <laughs> I don't even care because it was totally worth it and I thought about rectifying that but I decided to hold off because on my next episode we are finishing out the rest of the entryway and going to upgrade the newel pose and do some painting and some decor and really polish it off maybe switch out some lighting so if you want to see the total end result of this entryway makeover make sure you're subscribed so that you can get that notification when I post that episode. Well, if you enjoyed this episode, here's another one that I think you'll like as well. And if you haven't done so already, consider hitting that subscribe button right here. It's super easy to do. And I would love it if you joined the DIY Niner family and to all of my DIY Niners. I just want to remind you once again, that you are more powerful than you know. We'll see you next time. Bye.